What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and welcome back to another episode of Camera 360 where we attempt to break down a smartphone camera in three minutes, give or take. Now our goal on this show is to highlight some of the most important aspects of a smartphone camera that we think you should know and we try to do it in a very short and sweet fashion. Now if you guys are interested in a more in-depth analysis, you can always check out the written version of our review which will always be linked in the description below. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into today's episode with the Nokia 9 PeerView. What makes the Nokia 9's camera such a headlining feature is the fact that it has five cameras. Six if you count the 20 megapixel front facing camera. The Nokia 9's rear camera array are all 12 megapixel cameras with two being RGB and the remaining three all being monochrome for capturing tons and tons of data. All of this extra data makes the Nokia 9's cameras a great option for serious mobile photographers who don't mind putting in the work to get the desired results. For the casual photographer, it's a little bit of a different story and not everything about the Nokia 9's camera experience is sunshine and roses. The camera app's UI and layout is fine and navigating your way around the different modes and settings is similar to most other camera apps. The biggest issue is how incredibly sluggish the experience feels, which has gotten better with some software updates from Nokia, but not by much. If it wasn't for the consistently slow behavior with launching the camera or switching between modes, the camera app would be great. Not to mention the time it takes to process an image is painstakingly long, but I suppose that's the price you have to pay for how much data is being processed with each photo. If you're letting the camera do the heavy lifting, the results don't provide much to complain about. Exposure is spot on, white balance is consistently accurate, and colors are not washed out or muted, but they don't necessarily pop. The Nokia 9 seems to go for a more true-to-life approach. The camera is strong in daylight conditions with good sharpness, texture, and shadow detail thanks to the five cameras and of course its HDR image processing. HDR on the Nokia 9 PeerView does well with pulling out tons of extra detail in dark areas of a scene, and it does extremely well with taming highlights on a bright sunny day. You might remember the same shot from our LG G8 camera review, which also had HDR enabled, but didn't handle the highlights nearly as well. At a glance, the Nokia 9's low light shots do look quite good. Exposure, white balance, and colors again are all spot on. If you look a little closer, you will find that there's quite a bit of softening that's applied to most likely help with noise, but generally the Nokia 9 performs fairly well in darker conditions. For selfie purposes, the 20 megapixel front shooter produces pretty solid results. The front camera captures a lot of detail and texture in skin, which is a big plus because this isn't always the case with smartphone front facing cameras. Colors are a little bit on the muted side and highlights on bright backgrounds can get blown out pretty easily, but the results overall are acceptable. The Nokia 9 isn't a video recording beast, but you can record 4K video at 30 FPS, although a 60 FPS option would have been nice for more fluid looking video and a little more flexibility with slowing footage down in post. Exposure is handled fairly well when recording video, but the camera does take a while to adjust to varying levels of light when panning around. Image stabilization also isn't the greatest, especially when recording at 4K. Overall, the Nokia 9 PeerView is a more than capable camera, but it doesn't exactly stand out or go beyond the competition, at least not when it comes to casual use. The camera's real potential lies in its raw images and post-production edits, which isn't going to appeal to everyone. We gave the Nokia 9 PeerView a score of 7.5 out of 10. If you want to see a detailed breakdown of the score or find out some more in-depth details on our thoughts about the Nokia 9 PeerView's cameras, check out our written review in the description below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Camera 360.